love you people. And they have ran a marathon. They have done a triathlon. You may have done another OCR. But you know what? That ain't this. <laughs> what I got for y'all today, tomorrow, is gonna make the best of this whole world, man. Cause you know out here, oh, we don't finish at the finish line. We finish someplace out there, and then we make it to the finish line. That's what y'all show me every time. That person to your left, to your right, and behind you, that is your teammate right there, all night long. Because that's what we do here at Tough Mudder, even during competition. We honor our competitors with our best. We look out after them when we're out there. We don't quit. We overcome all fears. All those words are true because of each and every one of you since I've known you. You've been a blessing to my life, y'all. If you think once again that I'm the inspiration at these events, nah, man, I'm your bearer, man. You are the inspiration, brothers. Feel that, and Clinton and I, and Eric and I, and Coach and I, and all of PMHQ, and all of your friends, we will see you all. The only bib I don't have is the green, green bib. bib. <laughs> it's a horrific race strategy, but I think I may go for it. I'll do what I did last year. Go for Sprint Lab, and then hang out. You can help out Francis the rest of the night. Hope you go over obstacles. For me, it's not really about the prize money. It's about uh, the competition and just the camaraderie. I still have some people to come uh, rally with, so let's go. I want to redeem last year. Last year I got 25 miles, so I want to get 30 or more. Podiums are special, but I, I don't do it for the podium. I do it for, you know, what I get to feel and experience on course. It is warm, but the water is cold. So I'm trying to stay ahead of the game, trying to stay warm, and uh, keep things going. Ah. Oh God, my ears. Why does it hurt my ears? I am terrified of heights. I would rather jump off of King of Swingers than do Devil's Taint. Devil's Taint? Believe it or not, that yeah. just sucks. Holy shit, that's cold. That Devil's Taint is like just so awful. It's. So so bad. It's heavy. Right. The ropes are super heavy, and if you don't have a bunch of people around you, it's like really annoying. Anyone who fails a gauntlet comes here, draws a poker chip. One gets the hen stack, trying to find a pink army man. Two gets 15 box jumps. Three gets a chalkboard where you have to write I love penalties 30 times. Penalties are hard, obstacles are difficult, it's starting to get cold. like never ran this race I think the most challenging part is the nighttime running um, and especially just the I think it's the fact running not only in the dark but learning to run in a wetsuit because these courses usually get so cold at night it's like as soon as the Sun went down like it got cold super fast I went from running in a sports bra to needing like a full wetsuit very quickly uh, and so yeah it's just cold and you know you're running for 24 hours <laughs> By the time that wetsuit goes on, it's not pretty anymore. You know, we all look pretty awful, but you just forget it and 
and get through the mud. You just think about that next 100 yards, that next obstacle, that next mud pit. Uh, everything else goes away. So that, that sweet, terrible six hours is really why I'm here. Um, because that's the part where you really just lose yourself in the process of getting through it. out of EST it was tied to the wire. It's like somebody punches every part of you at once and it just like makes your entire body contract. These people deserve all the cheers in the world. They're out here 24 hours killing themselves. These are the days where they truly live and they truly test themselves. Most of these people are not elite athletes. Oh, wrong way, wrong way! <laughs> <laughs> it's harder for them to come out here. It's harder for them, no sponsors coming out here, giving their all. It's, it's amazing. And everybody out here just deserves all the props in the world. They're amazing people. That rave that was going on at night, every time I would go by it, I was like, oh my god, I fucking love this so much. You know, you had all the lights going, you had all this EDM music playing and all this other shit, and I was like, yeah. Part of the enjoyment, I came out and ran three laps and feel like I succeeded in what I was trying to do. And this is what I do Tough Butters for, is helping people. So I'd rather do a little of both than sleep in the tent all night for sure. So, so yeah. earlier, earlier today, you said this is it, so... Yeah. Like, for WTN. Yes. I would regret way more keeping going and, like, really digging myself into a hole and being sidelined for months and months again. I just don't want to do that anymore. I needed this this year, like, after... Sorry. Oh, after the year that I've had, I just... I needed to be back here. The hardest thing on these damn night races is like realizing that you could be home, like on your couch with your kids, like warm, dry, like watching Disney movies. I mean, you wanna talk about something that'll cut you to the core. I know I can destroy my body. I mean, I know I can, I'm really good at that. I'm not really good at like the opposite. I get lost looking for you. I actually realized I had more fun when I had to slow down and walk and talk to everybody. You know, there's so many points of you're getting like kind of delirious and you want to quit and you want to stop. It definitely crosses my mind, but you just got to keep going. But it's good. I'm like just super happy and like I had a blast out there. It's fun. Oh my God, 
the best thing about this race is the sun coming up. Um, that moment when you see the sun come up, it's just like, a, ah, everything's better. We can see the end. Mile 85 to 100, I ran harder than I did the entire race. And I was dying, I couldn't talk to people, I couldn't think, I almost passed out twice running. I got dizzy. Honestly, I just want to be here for 24 hours. I, I really care about like telling people I did this 24 hour race for 24 hours. And if it takes me two hours to get there, I don't know. <laughs> right now, I don't have thoughts. The hardest part is yourself because you can quit anytime you want to, especially when you come through each loop. Um, it's easy. You could just sit in a chair and not get up. It's really fighting yourself and fighting that want to quit that drives me to do this. I feel good. I have a good time. I mean, you are the fear. Let's be honest, if it was easy, everyone would do it. We were running this race for our friend Eric. He loved the Tough Mudder. Really represented everything that Toughest Mudder is all about. We have his old brown bib. These brown bibs will go to his wife, his kids. I don't think I have any balls left.